Today we'll be looking at some examples involving the right-hand palm rule, and we're going to be focusing on negative charges today. Now, a quick reminder of what the right-hand palm rule is. The right-hand palm rule is a rule that is used to determine the direction of positive charge, velocity, magnetic field, and force. So really, the right-hand palm rule is a rule Importantly, remember you're using the right hand. So many students get this wrong if they use the left hand. But if you're using the right hand, then the thumb represents the direction of positive charge. The fingers represent the magnetic field direction and the palm then represents your force. Now, for our questions that we're going to be looking at today, we're going to be focusing on negative charges, in particular an electron. So note that if you're using the right-hand palm rule to do this, like you've got an electron going in a magnetic field, it is a charge, it is moving, so it will experience a force, or that is all true, but it's a negative charge, and it's not a positive charge. Therefore, it's not going to go the same way as the right-hand palm rule will predict if you don't account for the fact it's negative. So if you use the right-hand palm rule, just focusing on positive charge and you treat the electron going the same way, you'll get the wrong answer. You will either need to switch to the left hand to do it, or in case that's confusing, always use your right hand, but just remember to switch your answer or similar. So for example, let's take a look at a few examples. You've got the velocity of the electron. Let's just switch it at the end, all right? So the velocity of your charge, which we'll assume to be positive for now, is going out of the page. So your thumb is pointing out of the page, your magnetic field is pointing down. That would imply that the force on a positive charge will be to the right. I'll do that in yellow, all right? So if you do your right hand push rule properly, that's going to give you a force to the right for a positive charge. But that means the answer to our question here is a force to the left. On our, on our electron. So the red one is the answer we actually want. Very similarly, if we've got a velocity heading down and the magnetic field is heading into the page, well then again, we're heading right on the positive charge. But again, that means we want a force heading to the left for an electron. Remember, you always have to flip it. You have to flip it at some stage. All right, we'll do it the same way we're doing it for this third question. And then on the other on the next page, I'll give you another way we might try it out. All right, so with this one, you've got a charge heading into the page. So your thumb is heading into the page. Your magnetic field is heading to the right. So your fingers are to the right. That means your force is downward for a positive charge. Of course, that means the force on the electron is upward. You can use the same method to answer these questions as well. What we're going to now try is method number two, which is instead of flipping the force at the end, we're just going to be consider the fact that if the negative is going to the right, as we're looking at in this question here, that's equivalent to the positive going to the left. So for these questions, we're basically just going to say, okay, our charge is going to the right. Well, our thumb should then point to the left because our thumb is a positive charge. So if your thumb is pointing left and your fingers are pointing up, you're going to get a force into the page. Into the page. This one is quite clear. The velocity and the magnetic field are not perpendicular. In fact, they are parallel. Therefore, there is no force. And it doesn't really matter if it's the positive charge moving that way or the negative charge moving that way. You'll get the same result, no force. In this case, velocity is moving to the left with the electron. So we'll treat it as a positive charge moving to the right and you're pointing out of the page with your fingers, giving you a force downwards. 
So that's an alternative strategy you can employ. You can use whichever strategy you like, as long as you are consistent with it and always get the right answer. With this last row, we'll try a third strategy that some students like. And really, these are just giving you options. Pick and choose the one that works best for you, and you can just stick with that one for all of them. Alternative number three, or option number three, is to use your left hand for negative charges. So if you use your right hand palm rule, then the left hand palm rule basically is for negative charges, where the thumb represents the direction of negative charge. So let's give this a go. Using your left hand this time, your velocity is going up, so your thumb is pointing up. Your fingers are pointing into the page. So that means the force here on the electron is going to the right. Velocity is pointing out of the page. Magnetic field is pointing to the right. So your force on the electron is pointing down. Your velocity is heading to the left. Your magnetic field is pointing down. That means you're getting a force into the page. You should, of course, always note that, as always, they, all of them are perpendicular to each other. It's always, there's no exception to that. I mean, even if the velocity is not directly perpendicular to the magnetic field, it's only the perpendicular proportion or the perpendicular component that really has any effect. So that's how you would basically work out forces on negative charges. Either, number one, do it like a positive charge, but then flip your answer. Or two, flip the velocity when you think about it. Or three, use your left hand, which will give you the wrong answer if you, you know, it, it flips everything for you, right? And that's basically how you deal with it. Very simple.